Day 121. I'm Melissa at Safe Haven Ministries, and I'm just going to jump into the message today because, and it's going to be very informal, I can tell you. It's just something that's that's been on my heart, and and I I think because I've been through this, and I thought I I felt guilty because of it. I'll give you an example here. What we're going to talk about is found in Matthew chapter seven, verse six. It said, "Don't give what is holy to the dogs, nor cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under feet, and turn and tear you in pieces." I I found myself. For a long time, anybody that would contact me and say, you know, could you help me through this? I need some advice. I just need some advice. And I would sit with them and pour into them and, and they'd come back and come back. And But I noticed they weren't growing. They weren't changing. They didn't appreciate what I was saying. And, and after a while, I was exhausted. I was taking the time and energy that I could use for somebody else and pouring it into them. And they they could care less. They just wanted my time and my attention. Do you have somebody in your life like that? Well, we're going to talk about that a little bit today. There was a pastor who did, he was, he was one of these pastors that would give you the shirt off his back. And he was young and I don't want to say young and dumb, but he was, he was young and he fell for every heartstring story there was. And so he was pouring out, not just in time and energy, but financially. Uh, he was trying to do more and more and more. And after a while, he realized, you know, I'm helping people that aren't working, that don't want to work and never will work. And they're just draining me in so many areas. And and he felt like, you know, God, what am I going to, what do I do here, Lord? And he, he found this passage. You see, I don't think we realize what's inside of us. I really don't. I don't know who you are. I don't know what your giftings are. I don't know what God's placed in you, but I know this. We don't go through this life without learning things. We just don't. I've learned by faith so many things. I, I've, I've been with other pastors, sat with them, ministered with them, and I've learned some really good things and some things that were not so good. But I learned from them and I, I tucked them away in my heart. I have wisdom in there from years of, of being in the word of God and, and listening to other, th other people. I've got so much inside me, but so do you. And when I look at our lives, you know, it may be, hard lessons you've gone through in life. Maybe you went through, a, really went through a school of hard knocks and you think, boy, I tell you, that was rough. It was rough. But God can use that. You know, I always mention when I went through the divorce, you know, a lot of pastors can't relate to that because they've never been divorced. Well, I'm not proud of being divorced, but I know one thing, God's used it for his glory. And I can help people that are in that situation if they choose to be helped. And, and it may be wisdom that you've gathered through the years of how to rely on God financially and how he's walked you through financially and all you had to do was believe God. See, you've got some stuff in there. Maybe he gave you spiritual gifts. It's impossible to put a price tag on the hours you've spent, the tears you've cried, the energy expand, expand, expand the energy, I hope that didn't come up on that. It'll probably stop there and I'll probably be sticking my tongue out tomorrow morning on the video. But but it, we pour energy out. All of that could be used for somebody who wants to grow. And here's what happens. If we pour and we pour and we pour into other people and they're taking advantage of us, after a while, you're going to start getting hardened to that and aggravated and it's like I can't believe they're taking advantage of me they don't appreciate anything I'm doing they just want my time there's people out there that just want your time and and you can't just keep pouring into people where you're seeing no return it's like sowing seed we need to sow on good soil 
so that that seed can take root. You've learned a lot through life, haven't you? The, the school of hard knocks. But boy, can God use that for his glory. Every time you break open the word of God and you share with others, you know, this is how I made it through this situation. This is what God showed me here. If they receive it, keep pouring into them. But if they don't, there comes a time you have to draw a line and say, I can't do that. You know, he, he talks about dogs and pigs. And I'm thinking, I, I hate it. I don't like to think about people as dogs and pigs. But really, what he was doing is showing us a behavior pattern. And when he talks about dogs, the word in the Greek is kunan. And the word actually means a wild, untamed, undisciplined pack of vicious, unclean dogs. And they roamed the countryside in that area. And they, they would go to garbage dumps and eat dead carcasses of animals, people, anything that was rotted. That's where they feasted on things. And they were not tamed pets. They were dangerous, they were wandering around, and they got to where they would. They wanted to eat in people's gardens, and people were having to build fences to keep them out because they would, they would come in and they would just tear the, the garden apart. These were wild, wild animals, and if you walked out at the wrong time, they could hurt you. So how's, what's that got to do with people? There are people that are untamed in this world. And, and by that, what I mean is they are, they refuse to be under anyone's authority. They don't take advice well. They don't, nobody's going to tell them what to do. They don't, they don't respect the authority of the pastor or the, the police or whoever else happens to be in position. They don't, they don't appreciate that. And they don't, they don't respect authority. You can't get through to those people as far as pouring into them. But they're like those dogs that are feeding off the wrong things. They go into and they're feeding in, in the things of the world that they shouldn't be. And then they go from church to church to church. And they're dumping all this junk on all these people. You can pray for them. You can love God for them. You can love them. And you can believe that God will work in their lives. But if they don't, dis they don't demonstrate a desire to really grow closer to the Lord, there comes a point where you have to say, I'm sorry I can't meet with you. I, I'm sorry I can't be there for you in this time. I just can't do that. I'm sure they'll be angry and upset because they've relied on you for so long and they've gotten so much out of you. You know, attention, attention means a lot to people. And they like that. And they like to see you poor. But let's draw a line somewhere. Amen? Father, tomorrow we're going to talk about pigs and pearls, Lord. So help me to get that in my head, what I'm going to teach. And Father, we just thank you for today. Thank you for this time. Help us, Lord, to recognize when we're being taken advantage of. And pour into those that will soak it up and grow in, in, in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless.